Hey, Homeberries. Well, today is March 30th. In a couple days, it'll be April 1st or April Fool's Day. I found out that April 1st is also the birthday of Logan Paul, which kind of seems, you know, you, you can make a lot of jokes there. I came across an article that said he had lost, uh, he had a stunt mishap and he lost 15% of a certain part of his anatomy. I thought, my gosh. And then I thought, how could they tell it was 15%? Well, that put me in the mood to depict 15% of a circle. So I, I made some drawings in advance because... I didn't want to take too long. It's like a cooking show. You do it step by step to show the audience. So this may be different for other people, but for me, I figured the best way to start depicting 15% was to narrow it down to 25%. So there's 25% of a circle. The circle is 360 degrees, so you divide that by 4, 25% or one-fourth of a circle is 90 degrees, which is incidentally called a right angle. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, so see the three-fourths or 75% of the circle is 270 degrees and that's definitely larger than 90 degrees. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees and a straight angle is 180 degrees. It's just a straight line because it's half a circle. There are other angles too but they're not important to this. See, from time to time, you'll hear someone say, oh, we turned it around 180 degrees, which means they've gotten things the opposite of how they were, like they were in a bad state, now they're in a good state. Sometimes, though, someone will mistakenly say, oh, we t turned, it 300 and turned it around 360 degrees. The thing is, that's a full circle, so you go 360 degrees, you're right back where you started. So, you have 25%, 15% is three-fifths of 25%. So, I divided, by, I divided 90 degrees by 5 to get 18 degrees. So I've got the multiples of 18 and then use my protractor here. You probably can't see, but that's a Crayola protractor. And let me tell you, I really don't like using protractors. I can, and I, I guess I do a pretty decent job, but... I, I guess I get nervous, and you think, oh, big whoop, is there in, anything you're not nervous about? So, then, I colored in most of that, so here we go, there's 15% of a circle. We're talking about percent oh and by the way there's the nice color where is it it's hard to find the lens I use wild strawberry because remember I told you the black critic guy was ragging on the fanning and he kept saying the oh I'm a strawberry guy while I was doing all this math related stuff I thought I need to uh, refresh myself on how to do fractions so I thought about what I had learned and also went to the library for a refresher. Multiplying, sorry it's hard to tell where the lens is, multiplying fractions is actually pretty simple. Like I
Like I said, I wanted to get three-fifths of one-fourth. So you, you multiply the top numbers together and the bottom numbers together. And then you can divide. This is a great calculator I got. I got this in a kid's meal at Burger King many years ago and it still works so see that's 15 percent just like it should be and the interesting thing about dividing fractions is you take the reverse and multiply it for instance as you can see here if you want to divide three twentieths by three-fifths, what you do is multiply it by five-thirds. So then you do that, and then it goes down to, it's equal to one-fourth. Sorry, I don't remember all of the terms. But so, yeah, there it is, just a little math lesson. And you may wonder, well... Why aren't you doing this on April Fool's Day? It's because I was worried that someone would think it was a prank. Of course, that would be the dumbest prank ever, or or one of the dumbest pranks ever. Who would do math problems as an April Fool's Day joke? Like, oh, I'm going to do this problem, and then, you know, teehee, who does that? So, yeah, kind of odd, but... This is what I did, and hopefully I taught something. You know, if you're if you're going to have weird stuff, then hopefully someone gained something from it, right? Okay, I think I've done all I can do, so have a blessed night, everybody.